see the book of that and wrote. How do you think all the children learned the names of all the creatures? Well, you think, you think Adam went around to millions of people, teach, teach each one the name of everything? He wrote it down. See, see, this book says that Yahweh writes and reads books. And I said, he wrote stuff with his own hand. Exodus 31, 18. I'm going to ask you a question that you never asked in all the years I've been showing you this. See, the feast of the law, the law of the feast of weeks make you ask these questions. I'm going to ask you a question that you haven't asked in 10 years or in your life. And for all the years I've been teaching you this scripture, you still have never thought to ask this question. Read verse 18. Read. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai two tables of testimony, tables of stones, written with the finger of Yahweh. Yahweh has fingers, and he wrote his own law. Now I have a question. This was in the day of Moses. When did Yahweh learn how to write? Son of man. 
And Moses was the grandson of Abraham. Huh? Now Moses spoke and wrote and read Hebrew. And then I go back to Abraham and I found that he was a Hebrew. Genesis what? 14, 13. Let's go back. I'm taking no chances on you tonight. Because you'll forget the people. You said, let's forget the past. And Yahweh said, I have a law for you to remember the past. Feast of weeks take you all the way back, 4,000 years. All right, read. And there came one that had a faith, and told Abraham the Hebrew. All right, now, Abraham was a Hebrew. Therefore, Abraham spoke. Now, what book is this in? Genesis. Genesis. So, from the beginning was... See, the brotherhood existed all the way back to Abraham. There was a Hebrew brotherhood. So since Abraham was a grandson of Adam, you know Abraham's grandfathers and parents taught him Hebrew. So you go all the way back to Adam, then he had to be speaking. So from the beginning, Yahweh was a Hebrew, speaking Hebrew, writing Hebrew, and it was still being written and understood all the way down to Moses. Now Adam was a son of Yahweh. Huh? That means who taught Adam? Yahweh. What language did Yahweh teach Adam? The original language is nobody can speak something before the Creator. See, the law of the Feast of Weeks makes you know this. See, we will remember things. <laughs> when you remember you were a Bible in Egypt, you have to remember all about Moses. Who he was, his nationality, his history, his culture, his language, his name, his land, his God. Hmm? When you study the nature and the character of those who had Moses and Israel, the brethren, in bondage. Then you study and learn how the Hebrews came out from under bondage. Then we read that the God of, of the Bible and the God of Moses is the same then and the same today and the same forever. Hebrews 13, 8? Let's go. Hebrews 13, 8. Let's look at it. Hebrews chapter 13, 8. Now you can get past the lie now. The Hebrews 13, 8, by you remembering the law of the Feast of Weeks, you can get past this lie right here in verse 8 and get to the truth. Yahweh then Yahweh, the same yesterday and today and forever. Your knowledge of the letter J, unless you get rid of that lie, you can't call no lie like that and apply no lie to God. And this is telling us that the Son of Man was, is, and shall always be. And here I am. Same one, talking to Abraham, to Adam. Praise 
knowledge. See, that's the beauty of knowing the truth. The truth is only the son of Yahweh. Only can be yesterday and today and the same forever. You just have to live with it. Now, you didn't have any problems with somebody else coming back. Right? So, why do you want to have a problem when I tell you I'm back? Or I'm here? And I'm the same. And anytime I want to come back, I'll be the same. Or anytime I want, it's not even a matter of coming back, anytime I want to appear. In the future, it won't be coming back, it's appearance. It's revelation. See, I am self-revealed, revealing myself to you. My same self. My self was the same yesterday. Myself, I got the same self now, and I'll be the same self forever. Whenever I choose to reveal myself. Self, I'm doing the same work. I'm doing for you today what I did for you in the days of Moses. I'm doing for you right now what I did for you in the days of Noah. I'm doing the same for you right now that I did for Lot inside of every mouth. I promise Abraham that I come to you in a strange land. So you'd be speaking a strange language to yourself. I told you, here I am. I know what you're going to do. I told Abraham I would, here I am, doing exactly what I said. I must be the one because I'm doing it. So you know, a tree is just known by the fruit of that. That's just the way it is. You just have to go with that. See, the man that lived 1900 years ago, read your Bible till you get tired, and you will discover that he never said he was God. He asked the question, well, who do you say I am? Somebody else said it. He said, well said, but I didn't say it. You said it. I'm the first one to tell you exactly who I am. I am Yahweh. problem with that on earth, I'm Yahweh Ben Yahweh. There's Yahweh. And all of those who understand know well that I'm Yahweh in the flesh as the Son.
called Feast of the Week. Exodus 34. And remember, this is a festival. This is not a funeral. We read this week, we are to come here and be solemn, right? No. Oh, is there a rejoice? Yeah, I said, rejoice. Stop, open up this there. Let me see what I'm supposed to do. This is a law of teaching me. It's a law what I'm supposed to do. So teach me what I see. My enemy didn't teach me rejoicing. We've been sad in America. Rejoice, baby. Rejoice to be glad. Take delight. Take what? Delight. To make joyful, gladden. All right, go back to the first word. What was the first? To be glad. Because glad. I, I think I can be a lot more than that. There's a synonym kind of sound. Get me one up here. Don't limit, don't limit my joy. You may be satisfied. I'm not satisfied. I want to I wanna be able to do more than this. For my God, I don't know about this. You know, I don't want to understand just being glad. I, it's a lot more flavor and color. I got to fuse these colors together. Yeah, let's take this out. That's the purpose of my coming, so you can rejoice. Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> See, until I come to you, to you the Bible is a dull book to me. Wasn't it? See, picking up the Bible wasn't something that brought joy to you. But see how happy you are that I'm here to bring, make the Bible alive? I'm here pointing out special things about myself. The Word in the flesh. That's the glory of the Word in the flesh. Call your attention. All right. Now, now give me some rejoicing, child. I know it's more than three or four words. You can't live in my mind like that. See, I was you. That little rough boy, that little kid, that kid can't do that to me. That's a subordinate mind trying to limit my intelligence. Three or four words. Isn't that an insult to our intelligence? We were taught to hate to read. Picking up a dictionary was not our favorite pastime. Hmm? We love to stumble passing words. I'm, I've been given orders by Yahweh that during the Feast of Weeks, I am to rejoice. How dare this devil try to limit my joy? See, I'm not bound. You can't trap me like that. I broke free long ago. I escaped Satan. See, so I, I know there's more to it than that. And I know how to get to it. And I'm calling your attention to it. And I'm telling you, don't accept the subordinate man. Go for the divine man. That's your inheritance. What, what, what that little tiny brain did in that dictionary uh, is take a shortcut. He's not worthy to be called a scholar. Because he has limited the knowledge of joy. 
but I know there's only one people chosen to rejoice. And they're in America trying to speak English. Because they don't remember Hebrew. So knowing that you have orders to rejoice and knowing they taught you to hate to read and hate to use the dictionary, so then they hid it. In synonym findings. And, and do you know that most bookstores don't even carry that book? That's right. I went out to buy some several books for you, and, and the bookstores didn't have but one copy. So, see, and, and, and it's sitting there gathering dust. That's not a common book. I went all the way through and got a master's degree and didn't know a synonym five that existed. Maybe they taught you in your college, but they didn't teach me in the ones I went to, and I went to white colleges and black ones. Uh-huh. I even went to law school, and, and I didn't, they didn't tell me about the synonym finally in law school. But it exists. So I found out they never did intend to tell me how to learn nothing. But I learned anyway. I escaped, because see, I'm the mighty God. You can't, you can't live with me. No, you can't live with me. Pretty solid. But see, what was disappointing to me is I read the entire library and never found that book. But then I found out that there were a lot of precious books held back in secret huh, in the library. I found that out by working in the library. See, while I was reading the library, I found out at least some things about it. They have reference books that you can't even find on the shelf. You have to know they exist in the first place, then they have to go on the lock and key into another set of rooms just to read the book. And then those rooms are limited. And they never told me that I could find the world's greatest secret in the Library of Congress. I still don't know how to get in there. Somebody conspired against you to keep you from knowing what joy is. And I'm telling you, don't go for it. It says, when, when Yahweh's words were found by me, they were a joy and a rejoicing to my heart. But then how can I have a joy and a rejoicing when I don't know what that is? So I'm turning you on. That's why I come in the flesh, so I can turn you on to the real joy. So you don't really know what joy is. You think eating a pie and ice cream is joy. That's sugar diabetes. See, the stuff that the devil taught you to eat and love to eat breaks you out in bumps and blisters. <laughs> huh? Yeah, cause you to have cancer and all over your body. So pie and ice cream is not a joy. It's a sugar killer. But we love it, don't we? Ooh, Lord. New Jerusalem ice cream is something else. I'll drive miles to get it. What are we looking at? Rejoice. Rejoice. Now look, the dictionary is supposed to be the last word. Now, if this dictionary is the last word, then this synonym finder will only have four words in it. Glad, joy, and delight. Rejoice, glad, joy, delight. That'll be it. Now, this synonym finder has more than that. Then the writer of that dictionary is either a deceiver or he has a tiny brain. Read. 
rejoice, celebrate, exult, 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 exult. Like exalt him that rises from the heavens? That's A-L-T. That's A-L-T. Yes, sir. This is U-L-T. U-L-T. Yes, sir. Same thing? Well, go ahead. We'll come back and find out. Go ahead. Jubilee. Glory. Revel. Delight in. Be glad. Be happy. Be pleased, be delighted, be tickled or tickled pink. Be elated, feel elation, be transported with joy. Be overjoyed, sing, sing for joy. Carol, sound the trumpet, shout hallelujah. Have 
question about this. It's a law. The law in the Bible says we talk. See, when everybody is keeping the law, the only way you can feel like a fool is don't hop. See, see, the law didn't ask you nothing about how you felt about this. The law didn't say anything about were you self-conscious about this. See, the law didn't say nothing about analyze this. It didn't say anything about you feeling peculiar and weird. See, only Satan has those thoughts going through your head. Satan is the one talking to you saying, now see, you don't need to do that. Not everybody jumping is for real. To hell with whether they for real, you jump and be for real.
Now, you know what that proved to me? That proved to me that the music was eternal. See, but what about God? See, we can turn on in here and rejoice without music. The feast of wheat is just spread out. Rejoice. Yahweh. See, I'm going to stop now so some of y'all can still walk tomorrow. Still all the way.